When you left home in Connecticut in August, could you foresee the hockey odyssey you were about to take? And here we are now in April, you're still playing hockey and playing real hockey. Yeah, it's been quite the year. Uh, definitely didn't go the way I'd, I'd hoped that it was going at, at the beginning, but you know, I, you end up here with the Marlies with a chance to go on a long playoff run, and uh, you have to take every day as it comes, and, and I'm pretty excited for the opportunity that, that, that lies ahead with us here. You know, I say real hockey, real hockey, an opportunity to win a championship, and you've been in similar situations to that. What is the common denominator, whether it be at Boston College, Chicago, or of course out west with San Jose with these teams that are always contending for a championship? I think it's just players that, that, that commit to, to what the team does, to, to, to the system, to the attitude of, you know, we're, we're going to win tonight. And uh, that's something that, that this team has had throughout the year and, and, and needs to develop and also continue. So. Uh, just the attitude that, that we're going to approach every game like we're going to win it and um, we're going to do whatever it takes to do that. What was so good about this team that allowed you to acclimate uh, to it as quickly as you have and I guess that process continues. Well yeah it always continues and I've only played three games but I think the fact that I played with so many of these guys o over the last six weeks with the Leafs and, and uh, just coming to the Marlies I'd already known half the team so um, you know, hockey's hockey. Hockey guys are great. This is my this is my fourth team this year, so I've had some experience getting to know a new group of guys, a new group of coaches, and um, it's uh, so far it's been nice. And hopefully, we can uh, keep that going here the last week of the season. And your resume is loaded. I mean, two NCAA championships, a Stanley Cup, but yet again, and I guess this is always the way it is. You've got to continue to, I guess, impress and improve yourself, and maybe that provides you with an edge. Yeah, you you never feel safe in this career, and. Every chance you get to play playoff hockey or a chance to, to prove what you can do, you want to take it and, uh, and, and give it all that you got. So that's what I'm doing here. Uh, hopefully I have a, last, uh, a good last few games of the season and, uh, and uh, keep, keep playing some solid hockey in, into the playoffs. How valuable was your time with the Maple Leafs and the time that you had to spend with them following the trade? Very valuable. Uh, you know, as I said before, my season didn't start off on the right foot. And, uh, the first half didn't go as well as I'd hoped. So to get a chance to play in the NHL, to, to play under Coach Babcock, and to play with that group of guys who's really, you know, they're all working hard, they're all learning, and uh, some real solid veteran players. So it, it, it was great for me to be able to see what, what they can do, their style, and, um, you know, for me to get that experience, hopefully that, that helps me down the road. And logistically, to have this team and the NHL team in the same city, I guess it's been a real bonus. Yeah, I was lucky with that in San Jose also, uh, where I didn't have to move three times this year, four times this year. I was able just to uh, stay in my apartment or my hotel and just, just drive to a different rink. You want to have more family come up to watch you here as this, uh, this run hopefully gets extended deep into the spring? I hope so. They, they keep texting me that people are suddenly uh, going to be in Toronto randomly. So it's, uh, it's fun to have them around, have them at games, and to be able to grab dinner with them and stuff on, on days off. But, Hopefully we're, we're here for a while and, and there's a lot of time to do that.